All right, guys, Meg Twin here, getting back into subsistence. We're gonna run up on the roof here and put our uh, other solar panel up. Of course, it's not gonna be a whole lot of sun today, it doesn't look like. Let me move over a little bit and turn it around. I know it doesn't matter, but I like to make it look nice and neat, sorta, of, kinda. Okay, so we've got six solar and two, three wind turbines. I could probably look in the up. There's some hunters over there. Now the hunters, if you uh, watched the last video, I have them set to no attacks. So my main goal is to not aggro them because I just do not have the firepower that they do. And I don't understand how... They have a whole bunch of firepower without even having a base. I mean, the rogues. That's, I don't know. To be honest, it's a little ridiculous how powerful they are. Um, right from the get-go. So, I'll leave them on for an extra little bit of challenge. But I'm going to keep it on uh, no attacks. And I'm going to try my best not to aggro them at all. I gotta go out and get more wood though. Uh, I have the heaviest clothes on and it's uh, 17 degrees out. I gotta get more wood because I've got three sacks of 200 in the winter bin but I don't have any for me to use right now and hopefully I mean if I'm somewhere and they come up to me that's not me aggroing them that's them aggroing me. make any more uh, strength packets because I don't have any more honey and it's September so I'm presuming the honey's gone that was back in June that that showed up oh I know what I wanted to do I wanted to make another pickaxe I'm sorry to have to collect wood on a recording, but actually running out of things to do. <laughs> so we're just going to be uh, gathering resources and hoping we don't uh, piss anybody off. The wolf down there. Still September. We're not quite halfway through the challenge yet. But it got down to like 3 minus um, last night when I tried to come out and get some wood during the night. And I just couldn't step out at all, even with the clothing I have on. And I uh, repaired everything that I have on. So, And also... Um, in the last video, I said it was our third death. It officially was, but since I uh, recovered a save, it's still showing us two. But we all know I died three times, even though it's not showing on the thing. When I first opened the game, it just shows two deaths. Because I didn't feel like uh, running all the way back to get to my backpack uh, without appropriate ammo. It's just uh, wasn't feasible and it wouldn't have been fun. So I didn't do it. I do have a, two more lockpicks though. Oh, wait a minute. Let me uh, check and see where the hunters are. I can't see their fire now. <laughs> How are we supposed to stay away from them if we don't know where they are? Uh, there's a uh, ammo bag. Hmm. 
There's another one up there. What is that standing up there, right there at the tip of my... Is it just a... Oh, it's just a bush. <laughs> be kind of cool if uh, you know the hunters acted like regular people by that I mean I mean say you go out hunting you see another hunter you're you're not gonna shoot him right you can say hey how's it going you getting anything you're not just gonna shoot him and then find out where he's camping and attack his camp just make the regular hunt, make the regular, uh, blah, blah, blah. make the hunters regular people. Where maybe uh, we can trade stuff with each other. You know, to make our lives easier instead of just outright being aggro. I think I'd like that a lot better. Or actually make the hunters co-op, you know? Say, hey, you know, you can stay at my base. Uh, you, know, you gotta help out. You gotta go get stuff. And Man, that would be freaking awesome if it was built like that. I would love it. But this uh, immediate aggro stuff, I don't know. Just not for me, guys. Just not for me. I want to go across the river and see if I can't find a lot crate. Now... I don't know I'm not seeing any fires now do I not see them in the daytime I know there's there's that plane crash we went to now I'm just not seeing it I wonder if I can safely go over there well let's find out Got two lockpicks, so I might as well try and use them. I need lithium though. So we'll have to go search for that later. But I don't know, do I need more solar panels? I've got six. I think I need to concentrate on upgrading those instead of making more. Let's upgrade the ones that haven't been upgraded yet. But I want to go through here and uh, see if we can safely find a lock crate. Now, last time it was way down there where silicon is. See, I don't know. Well, I'm just going to have to be careful. But like I said, it would be so awesome. Oh, there's a campfire over there. I'll stay over here. I can see it now. Well, good. I want to see, check this section out anyway. <laughs> we got some metal right here. I don't know where they're at. There's something up there. Looks like a lock crate. Let's go check it out before I do anything else. I love this game. Um, aside... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, yes. Yes, please. Good deal. And we don't have to mess with the hunters. Oh, I got four more parts. I might be able to make a double barrel shotgun. I have ammo for it. Let's go down and see what's in the... Oh, shit. Dude, what are you doing over here? This is my beach. All right. I guess I'll just cross over up here and go down through the water. <laughs> go back to base. Get the stuff back to our base. Get it put away. I don't think we'll aggro him being this far away. I don't know where the other hunter is. Please don't be a bear down there. 
Remember that time I came walking up in between those two rocks right here on this side and the freaking bear was right here on the other side. <laughs> he chased me all the way back over to my foundation. That was pretty cool. Oh shit, there's a guy right... Oh, well. Alright, let's get the... Let's just swim underwater. <laughs> now let's put him in the game. Let let let's give him uh, unlimited ammo. And uh, even though it's no attacks, let's put him everywhere where you need to be to get your own resources. <laughs> oh Lord. I remember the very first time I messed with hunters, and I might have told this in another video, but uh, I had a foundation set on the water's edge, and I heard footsteps, I turned around, and the hunter's like right there, it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, I was like three yards away from him, and everything was fine. So me, you know, I'm like, well, I wonder if we can talk to each other. I'll walk up to him and boom, he pulls out a shotgun and shoots me. <laughs> I did manage to get away, but... Alright. Oh, I didn't mean to drink that, but okay. Uh, we gotta eat. Wait a minute. Can I... Okay, we ate that. I need more. Food goes so fast. I am genuinely worried about winter time. We'll see how many. Uh, we got 18 parts. <laughs> I don't think that's enough. Uh, mm, I don't think that's enough to do anything with. No, we got. Well, that requires 15. How much does this require? 20. Two more gun parts, like another lock crate. I wonder if, uh, well here, let me get rid of some stuff. Um, nothing goes in there. Okay. Alright. Well, I got some ammo from my raffle anyway. Let's, uh, well, nothing goes in there either. Okay. Alright, let's get rid of this. That can go in there. 22 of those. I'll be using those for uh, for mass. Gaining mass. Five. We got five shotgun shells out of that. That's awesome. Let's uh, put this out for now. And you can go in here. Let's go um let me trade my empty one for my full one. Let's go down to the other end of the map. Down here. Let's see if we can get some uh, lithium. I do need to make another lockpick. I just haven't done it yet. Let's see if we can't find some lithium down here. Well, you know what? Ooh. Hello. <laughs> and it's funny, when they build, theirs is already fortified, I think. Alright, what we're going to do now, we're going to go up and see what we need to upgrade our solar panels. So let's go take a look. Whoop. Gotta go this way. So upgrade my solar panels to be sure I have enough fire to keep whatever I have 
thought I heard something. To keep whatever I have. Uh... Well, now we're going to pick our veggies. Because they're ready. Okay. Anything ready over here? Eat it open? Nope. Okay. Um... All right, let's go see what we have here. Okay, these are all, that's already upgraded. So's that one. So's that one. Wow, I did good, didn't I? <laughs> the first three have been upgraded. Okay, we need. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna write it down because I can't remember a lot of stuff at one, one point. So we need one metal. One ingot. Four metal. Four met. Seven elect. And two sinew. All right. We need that for that two to upgrade it once. Okay, so I'll just times what I need by three and see what we have. are you doing? Alright, let's get this in the fridge. And let me get my stuff out to put in the recycler. have much. I don't think I'm going to be using that claymore. Or the grenades. I'll keep them. I, I tell you right now I don't really plan on messing with the hunters. Um, they're just too aggro for me. And the ammo I'm gonna need for getting food. So let's run up here and throw this in the uh, mass recycler. One, two, there, three, there, three, there. All right, now let's go down and see what we need to do to at least upgrade these for the first time. All right, so. Ingots, I need three. Get that, get that out of my way. And I don't have any, that's wonderful. <laughs> Iron and copper. Oops, that's not the right one. Iron and copper, we have a ton of iron. We're doing pretty good on copper too. So we need three. Okay, we got that rolling. We need 12 metal. Okay. We need 21 electrical. Oh, no issue. Whoop. The only issue is having enough power to do all these uh, six sinew. Okay, let's go ahead and put our unused bits back in there. And we need. Oops. Okay, we got two of the three that we need. I don't know how much power it's going to take. for each one. But I think it is a good idea to upgrade each one at least once. Let's go see what we need. I mean, you know, I really wish it would be uh, 
feasible to trade with the hunters. You know, I think that would be much better. So 120 and 80. We can only do one. Yeah, and I have to wait for the mass to build back up. But at least we have the elements to do it with. And I think I'm going to work my way over there. All right, let me down. I don't have all day to screw around with trying to get down in a little square hole. All right, I'm going to put these. <laughs> All right, I'm going to set this in here. And... Uh, um, there was a hunter over here, wasn't there? don't be on the other side of that rock fishing. <laughs> Where did I see him at? I don't have time to screw around, really. Uh, Where did he go? Where was he? Oh, right there. See them up there? I don't see them walking around, but I see their partial base. So I'm going to go out around here to the next peninsula and go around it up to the other area where there may be a locked crate. See if there's one up there, too. I doubt I'll find two in one episode, so... <laughs> It's worth a shot, though. The crate. Two crates, to be exact. Or are they ferns? And not before. Go get this metal. I mean, how close is too close? Maybe it was just the leaves that are falling. Did a fantastic job with the environment. I think that was a rabbit. Can I? I want to go ahead and get the wood off this tree. Because I need it. I mean, you can't shelter y'all from all wood collection, you know. <laughs> It is part of the survival experience. Okay. Um, I do, I, I remember mentioning that hold your own game. And I do have that. And I had been on the fence about whether or not to create a series out of it. Um, I do have another series started by the way uh, it's called Among Trees and uh, I think that first video will be uploaded tomorrow it'll start tomorrow and it'll air about noontime if you want to check that out it's a little more peaceful sandbox survival gameplay uh, 
But I'm having fun with it. I mean, after you sit in subsistence and you're so tense all the time, it's nice to have a little uh, break and still be able to play survival. But, uh, yeah, I think I do plan on doing something with a uh, hold your own survival game. We better hurry up because we are running out of daylight. Oh, wow. We are severely running out of daylight. Let's go. Th Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's a deer. Excuse me, deer. Have you seen a lot cray? <laughs> You've seen a lot crate around here. I know there's no predator, is there? He wouldn't be here. Okay, I'm not seeing a lot crate anywhere. Just run up here. Sometimes it might be at the top of the hill. Alright, we're running into some darkness here, so let's Get back down. Cursory exam doesn't show any lock crate, so unless it's over here on the rock. I did find it over here once. Okay, can I get out of here without wasting my ammo? I need food. I need to hunt. Definitely need more food. I can't... I mean, those protein bars are only going to take me so far. Headed away from the light. I can see better because if I face it, I, it gets too dark and I can't see. Where is the bear? Please don't be here. Okay, we're gonna swim back to base. I wish I could look for lithium, but that camp is right there. I wonder if they move or if they stay there. I'm sure they probably move around. We're gonna stay out in the water. So as not to aggro the uh, hunters. It's nighttime, it gets nighttime. Holy cow. At least I'll be able to look at the map and see where their fires are. See if they ever move. I don't think they do. But yeah, I wish we could be friendly with them, you know? Mm. Maybe trade stuff, like uh, skins, or the uh, cloth, I guess you call it. Like cloth and meat for other stuff. Would be kind of cool. Who is that? Dude, like right on me. Oh, it's just the darkness on the rock. Man, I thought he was like sitting there. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, okay. I'm 
gonna go ahead and make... Well, I'm gonna let you guys go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand here and make another lockpick. Um, not a lockpick. Make another uh, pickaxe. And we'll see... Well, it's up to 62, so it's gonna be a little bit before that gets up to uh, where I can upgrade that uh, solar panel, the next solar panel. So I'm gonna make a, a pickaxe and wait for daylight. That being said, this is the end of this episode, and I will catch you guys next time. So thanks for sticking with me on this series. I do appreciate you. Bye-bye.